Okay, so we'll, um, we haven't officially started yet, but we have a question um, to see if we have a Kiowa word to say, I'm sorry to someone. And so we're looking in our notes to see if we can find something that we've referenced before. And uh, Kathy, I think you said you found something in your notes. Well, I found the uh, to show empathy towards others or be helpful. But it, it, see, that's what I don't understand. So, aim o moi ka a a. Is it aim o moi ka? Yeah. Oh. Could you uh, type that out in the chat? Well, I just did it the way I thought it sounded. Yeah. No, that's fine. That's fine. We can we can uh, figure it out. Um, hey, Ramon, we're uh, oh. we're looking in our notes. So, Ramon, do you okay. recall us talking? About, I feel like we did, but it might have been a couple of years ago where we talked uh -huh. about whether Kiowa has a word for "I'm sorry" or saying "sorry" to someone. Like, how would we say it? Um, I don't know. Whenever I was growing up, I always heard that we didn't really have a way to say I'm sorry, but I think there's a way to say like to forgive, which you could probably ask someone to forgive, you know, say like, forgive me or something. I'm not sure if that means it's uh, transitive oh, or not. That's right. Uh, yes. But I think I, it's like on to on Yeah. On to to forgive okay let me um because we were thinking like regret in the glossary we found but let me look up forgive yeah because that because yeah, i know that one 15 and salt all sound very similar <laughs> oh they do um here's from the glossary oh that's like the whole entry oh what's that you can see that I can share my screen really quick. Uh, where is it? Yeah, I, I seem to I vaguely remember that um, when we I think we because we asked um, our mentors a while back about that. I have another uh, one. Okay, so here's so the state of being forgiven is like if it's a noun if you're saying like maybe let's see how would you use that in the sentence um i guess the verb is the one that we would reference more like um like forgive me uh let's see verb mental um we would need uh let me sure. pull up the, does yeah, someone have the pronoun chart I put forgive me in there. I'm not sure. That's what my notes say. And something like that. Well, it'll be uh, yon for me if it's mental. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah. Um, so it would be so like if you're going up to someone, you're saying forgive me. Uh, I wrote it out in chat for forgive me. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it'd be uh, th it'd be this this one, uh, the middle one. Um, on o, on o, tom. And then, what did you say the mental verb for? Like me. Is it yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So then you would say, uh, yeah, on, oh, huh. Let me see. Uh, is it Y A with a nasal? Uh, yes. Okay, let me try to pick that. Is it up or down? Sorry, I have to pull mine up. Up, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, we'll put we'll put up. And then okay. So that means um forgive me. 
Yeah, Melody, it seems to me that that command is the only one really that you're asking somebody or saying to somebody, forgive me. And the rest are, I forgave you, I will be forgiving, or I do not be for forgiving. Mm -hmm. kind of so that's yeah. more personal and the other is more of a command or asking someone. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I and I huh? No, I was going to say, I looked on a chart and uh, it's, it's up. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. awesome. <laughs> Good call, Ramon. Your instincts were accurate. <laughs> um, so if we want to say, I'm sorry, we don't really have a direct translation, but we can say, please forgive me. Or like you could say, ya, ya, on, o, ta, aimt, ag, ya, ha. Please, I'm begging you, forgive me. <laughs> and if we say that around our elders, they'll probably start thinking that you're praying real hard in church because it sounds like a lot of church language. <laughs> <laughs> Get some brownie points. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> but that makes that makes sense. Um, Either that or get on to this thing. <laughs> right? <laughs> Well, I mean, we got to use our words in different contexts, you know, than just uh, just one context so we could actually um, make it alive and real um, and express ourselves. Um, let's see, I'm looking. Yeah, because uh, if we were saying like everyone, like if we're begging all of you, then we would say bot uh, for saying please. Which there isn't really a way to say please. So it's more like it means I'm begging you, which is apparently very extreme. But I don't know. It's kind of one of those examples of where we're trying to fit Kiowa into English thinking, kind of. So we just have to be careful, I guess, and try to maintain the Kiowa thought, you know, when we use those words. Because uh, saying please and sorry are definitely not Kiowa concepts. Um, so I think that's important to kind of explain if we're if we're working with younger, you know, learners with students or children. Um, so that's not a direct translation, you know. But uh, hopefully that helps you, Nelson. <laughs> yes, a lot, a lot more than what we had earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, hey, there's Grandma D. Oh, I hope they're okay. Let's see how they're doing. Well, the weather's weather's crazy. <clears throat> okay, let me stop sharing my screen. Hello, Grandma D. Hi, Hi this is Carolyn. Um, Are you safe? Uh, we're waiting for one from Blanchard to come. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Well, I hope you're somewhere safe. Uh, don't worry about us. <laughs> we're just, okay. All right. We want you to be safe. Um, we're, we were just practicing some words from the glossary. And tell tell your mom we'll just practice our pronunciation. And, you know. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Prayers go to you guys. Be safe. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Oh. That's right. Put your... Put your stick and your knife in the ground. Oh. All right. Well, be safe. Thank you for checking in. I know that that's what uh Courtney messaged me because they're they're also watching that that other storm that's coming up. And uh she sent a picture. Well, let's see, she also said uh she said goigu bada behente. 
<laughs> All right. Well, we'll be here if you get bored or if things, you know, settle down. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, uh, Ma oi bong da. Ah, hope we can talk to you soon. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Hope it goes quickly. <laughs> yeah. I know. That's what uh, the students at OU are all in the basements. Shona texted me. She said they're in the basement. Of, I guess she was at like a, a meeting on campus and they all went down to the basement. So like, all right, you guys are safe. Well, the first one was North Norman by the hospital, went to Moore, but it really didn't form. But now they're saying there's another one at Blanchard. Ooh. Yikes. Crazy, crazy. One of those crazy weather days. Yes. <laughs> Yikes. Well, hopefully it doesn't get too bad. Um. Yeah, we were just answering some questions from people. So um, let's see here. Well, do we want to um, go back, pull up our uh, lesson, the lesson that we worked on two weeks ago, lesson four, and kind of review and see if we can, if we remember our pronunciation. Let's see, I'm looking for, okay. All right, so um, let's go ahead and get started. And so for our opening prayer, um, let's see, um, Lori, hey dots, I, if you're able to. Oh. Can Oh, oh. It's like oh. really windy out here, so we have little kind of crazy disruptions. So I hope you heard that right. Ha, oh, we did. Yep, and uh you be careful too. <laughs> Don't blow Oh, it's away. just <laughs> it's just wind. We have it will come in the last like two or three days and it'll be nice and then we'll get the wind again. It, it's like it's so bad we get wind advisories and we actually have um where they where they tell you to stay off the roads because you can't see because it looks like fog. It's so much Ooh. dust. Wow. So like dust storms. Yikes. That is a lot of wind. <laughs> Well, be careful. Um, uh, hi, Miss Marion. Welcome. Hello. So, Hello. so far, you're the lucky mentor uh, for us this evening uh, because um, our other mentors, there's uh, crazy weather out this way. And oh, they're no. um, in Norman, they're under tornado warning. And then that one just no. got over and now they're under another tornado warning in Norman and Moore area. So anyway, we're, uh, it's just mostly us learners on here. We were going to practice our pronunciation from last time. Oh. So um, you're welcome to uh, give us feedback as we go along <laughs> and correct us. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Oh, uh, just, uh, 
Hmm? Is it just a tornado or warning in Oklahoma City and Norman? Yeah. Yeah, I guess the, the, a hailstorm went down uh, towards Anadarko, Apache, towards Lawton area, but I guess it went another direction. But um, there's the tornado, like there's storms right now in Oklahoma City, Norman, Moore, at that area. All right. Um, okay, I found our lesson from last time. Okay, tell me if you can see my screen. Oh. All right, awesome. So this is lesson four, and this is what we practiced the pronunciation of last time. And I think we wanted to um, do our conversations here. Because um, we didn't get to finish the conversations. Um, so let's see here. So let's go through the phrases. Um, so our statement and then our responses. Um, so let's see. Um, ha hey ga yan hai ge da. Ha. Yahai Gada on Yahai Ga. Uh, let's see, we'll just go uh, down the list that I see here on the screen. So, Kathy, I see you next. Oh, hey, go Yahai Gada Yahai Gada. Oh, Yahai Gada. Don't. I go. Yeah. And then Hanya Hai go down. Hanya Hai go. Oh. Uh, Lori? Ha, hey go, Yan Hai Gita. Ha, Yan Hai Gita. Ha, Ya Hai Ga. Ha. Hanya Hai Ga. For that second one. Um, Nelson, are you able to? Oh. Hey, go. Ha, hey, go. Yon, hi, get up. Ha, yon, hi, get up. On, yon, hi, go. Ha. Cody, did you want to practice? I don't know if you're, uh, I think you're muted. Um, try again. No, I'm not hearing you. No, not hearing her. She's not on mute. Oh, she said her laptop, the, um, the sound is messing up. Okay. That's fine, Cody. Hopefully you can hear us still. Um, and just uh, let me know in the chat if you if it um, gets resolved. Um, okay, uh, Ramon. Oh, hey, go, yan hai ge do. Oh, yan hai ge do. Oh, yan hai go. Oh, oh, all right, let's go to the second one. Um, and Cody's working on her issue with the sound. So hopefully uh, she'll get that figured out. Um, she can still hear us, she said. So we'll just continue and she can jump in once um, her sound gets fixed. So second question statement is, I'm going to ya. Oh, Sunday, I'm going to ya. Oh, I'm going to ya. Oh, Sunday, Sunday, I'm going 
Oh, yeah. Oh. Lori? Ha, ha, aim, goi, ta, ya. Ha, shande, ah, goi, ta, ya. Oh. Um, Nelson? Ha, aim, goi, ta, ya. Ha, shande, ah, goi, ta, ya. Oh. Uh, let's see. Uh, Cody, did, did your audio? Yeah, I think it doesn't work on my laptop for some reason, but it works okay. on my phone. Awesome. We can hear you loud and clear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, the second one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ha aim goit aya. And then ha shande a goit aya. Ha. Awesome. Uh, Ramon? I'm good. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, Shande, I'm good. Oh, yeah. Oh, awesome. Okay. And let's see. I'm just putting it in the chat so I can remember who goes. All right. Here's um, so this third row is. Um, where we're uh, talking about um, under or what is it understanding Kiowa language? Let me look really yeah, do you know the Kiowa language? For you, is Kiowa language understood? Oh, okay. So, and remember, so we don't uh, kind of stumble on our on our words. Just take it slow. Um, Ha he ga yan goi tong hai ge da. Ha shan de ya goi tong hai ge da. Ha he ga ya goi tong hai ge da. Ha shan de ya goi tong hai ge da. Ha he ga ya goi tong hai ge da. Ha Shande ya goi hai ha. 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 Hey ga yon goi ton hai ge da. Ha. Shande ya goi ton hai ge da. Ha. Ha. Hey ga yon goi ton hai ge da. Ha. Shande ya goi ton hai ge da. Oh. Oh, he got young coit on high get off. Oh, Shande young coit on high get off. Oh, awesome. Ramon, I just have to say, when you talk, you remind me of Mr. James Silverhorn. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, you did good on the news yesterday, too, Ramon. Oh, I appreciate that. Appreciate it. <laughs> That's so cool. Um, okay, last one, really quick. Ha soha, ha soha. Ha soha, ha soha. Ha soha, ha soha. Ha soha, ha soha. Ha soha. Ha, so ha. Ha, so ha. Ha, so ha. This one's supposed to be said as like not with the question inflection, right? Right, yeah. right. It's supposed to be. Uh, I think ha, so how ha. you and uh, Nelson said it is that, so. Ha, so ha. Ha, so ha. So the this one we we just draw out the ha more because we're saying yes whereas this one is uh, we're asking a question. oh so ha oh okay yeah so this one we say it kind of faster and then the and ha, ha we, we so draw ha. it out awesome so. um okay so we go to our conversation uh let's see this one's a really long one <laughs> uh let's see I guess we could do either one. Let's see if I can make this bigger. Whoops. Um, 
Okay. So which uh, conversation should we work with? Option one or option two? Conversation or response factors. Four. Which one? <laughs> conversation response factors. Oh, right here. Conversation response factors. Okay, we could do that. Um, well, this one is kind of how we're going to uh, be asked uh, more or less when we're getting credential, like when we. Our Zoom, it's our Zoom, our Zoom Kiowa meeting. Oh. Hi, Grandma Martha. Hi. I'm still Are you stuck safe? in the restaurant. I'm stuck in a restaurant till it quits raining. <laughs> oh man, we're worried about y'all. We had a uh, Grandma D and Aunt Carolyn got on real quick, and I said, "Go be safe. Don't worry about yeah. us." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's gone over now, but it's still raining here. Okay. Oh, good. Well, glad it's glad it's kind we, of calm. We we had a birthday meal anyway, and we were already in the restaurant, so we just had a big picture window watching the whole thing move. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, front a row movie. Seat. <laughs> like a movie. Like a movie. Hey, front row <laughs> seat. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm just listening in. So, because I'm on okay. the phone. All right. Well, good. Uh, you and uh, Miss Marion is also on here. And so we're just uh, getting ready to do our conversation. So, uh, y'all can give us feedback if uh, we, okay. you know. <laughs> so, okay, cool. Um, Whoops, I don't know what I just did. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's uh, let's pair up for our conversations. So let's see here. Um, this, so me and Kathy, since I see you next on the screen. And then how about Lori and Cody, is that okay? Uh -huh. And then Nelson and Ramon. Oh, oh. Okay. Right, that's everyone, right? I think that works out. Okay, I put it in the chat. Okay, let's see here. All right, Kathy. Um, mm -hmm. um, Hande Onde Aim Sun. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Hyundai uh, mm. own day, I'm caught day. Oh, I'm not sorry. Oh. No. Or. No, not sorry. Is that the not at all? Um, yeah. Is that Anna Onta? Yeah, Anna Onta. Ha. Ha, I'm going to. Oh, yeah. Oh, Shande, I'm going to. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ah, hit that. Um, thank God. I don't have my notes up. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tha. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Are you what? Where, where are we? Uh, number four. Oh, dang. Uh, um, 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 which lesson was that? I think that's number two, um, right? Uh, oh, hey, God, Jan. Hi, And then uh, five. Oh, aim. Isn't that uh, aim Honde? Uh, wait. Yeah. Uh, right here. I I think it's a uh, aim Honde. Uh, aim Honde. Uh, uh. Hot soha. Hot soha. Okay. 
Uh, Ajo. What are you doing? I'm Hyundai. Oh. So. You have options. You have. Aim hunt. Wait a minute. Uh, it's in less than uh, three. A goy don my tame. Oh, they own day. Uh, high and uh, high and high get all. Get goy don may ma he ma. My oh, so we're on, on number five, sorry. Uh, so I'm asking you if it's understood, which I think is oh this one. Ha hey ga yan hai geda. I think I forgot the hega. Ha hey ga yan hai geda. Ha ya hai geda. Ha um Hyundai oh, ah ma. Get glory don mahi ma mahi is it mahi ma, or mahi? ma is it e mahi ma mahi ma if it's a e it's a e oh that's mahi ma to your uh learning Iowa learning right um okay ha oh, they own they uh oh Oh, good. I am for him, though. Oh, I for him, though. They get I get. Oh, he got him. I don't have to. Oh, he got him. I don't have He got him. I don't have to. Have He got him oil bone the point ah the. Oh, um. Hey, thought I gotta find my notes again. I know it right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I gotta memorize these things. I need more people to talk to, I guess. Uh oh, isn't it uh begu te ta? Oh, aims uh ha I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They own day. Obaha. Obaha. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, Nelson, no worries. Um, we'll uh, play it by ear. Okay. Uh, Lori and Cody. Uh, cool. Which one down to go first? Cody or me? Up to you, Cody. Are we doing the left side or the right side? Uh, the right, this the right side. Uh, response practice. Yeah, the right side. It doesn't matter. I guess I could go first. Okay. Honda Yonde in San. Ha, um, oh. Honda Yonde in Cote. Not, oh, oh, ha. Um, ha aim goit oh yeah. Ha shande ah goit toy ya. Let's see. Aim ha day on. Ah time and go ah. Ha yan hai gida. Ha ha hai gida. Um, I forgot this one. Number six. What are we doing? Um, Honda ah ma. Honda ah ma. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. We don't ma hey ma. Ha in boyonda. Ha ha boyin honda. Get aga. Ah, yeah, yeah. Um, hey, in oh, is that it? Oh, okay, yeah, you're right. 
Hey, God, aim on your bone, da. Begut de da. Ha, um, oh. Oh. They own they. Um, on number eight, uh, let's see, number eight is where is it? Uh, this one right here. Uh, you could say. Wait, am I missing a strike through? I think I'm missing a strike through. Yeah, it's this one right here. They get ah uh, yeah. For it's all like everything is good. Uh, I believe she said that. Maybe I'm wrong, but I thought she did. Oh, I probably just missed it. <laughs> Sorry, Cody. I think she said get tag, yeah. Oh, the other storm's hitting Norman. But hang on tight. I know, right? Meanwhile, Courtney's texting me pictures of the oh, no. storm. Oh my man, be careful. <laughs> Aunt Velma's over in Norman. I know. Have you heard from her? Is she uh -uh. Oh, nay. hopefully they're in their safe spot. Um Okay, let's see. Oh, hey, there's Akima and George. Welcome. Ah, uh, I hoped. We just uh, safely got out of the hail. <laughs> so, we were driving and Chicka oh. Shade has baseball size hail. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, be careful, be safe. Um, that's what uh, uh, Grandma D and Aunt Carolyn got on a little while ago, and they said that first storm was just getting ready to hit. And so we told them, "Don't worry about us. We'll just we'll just be practicing." Um, so, but hopefully, y'all yeah. are safe. Yeah, we're okay now. As a lot of people were trying to park and get under the gas station. Um, I bet that's scary things. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, I hate driving in that weather. I know it was loud. It was so loud. I thought, dang, it's going to crack our window. So yeah, <laughs> Jeez. yeah, they, uh, they just, um, posted, they sent out a new tornado warning for Norman campus where our daughter is. So your daughter too. <laughs> Yeah, she's still in DC. She'll be back, but she she's told she's the one that told me there's a tornado warning, and so she said, "I'm glad I'm out there, but I'm sure as soon as I get home, they'll start having more because she'll be back on May the May the tenth, I think, or eleventh. So from oh, wow. Washington. <laughs> oh, that's so, yeah. well. You know, they these days they get pretty crazy weather there too. So hopefully they're okay. They do. You know, these storms go. You know, they tend to go that way after they hit us. But yeah, crazy, crazy. Yeah, our uh, our daughter texted and she said she's like, "I'm in the basement. We were in the library. We're in the basement." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, they right. got a lot of good good shelter over there. <laughs> yeah they do yeah they do so hopefully <clears throat> good. we have uh two of our mentors on uh grandma martha they uh have front row seats to the storm apparently she said <laughs> she's just listening in and then uh miss marion is on with us um so they're just listening um and kind of giving us feedback so we were just uh practicing our conversation from lesson four um are you so uh Akima and George are you do you want to practice or are you just going to listen in um yes we will go ahead and practice as we are able okay um, okay yeah just let yeah me know. yeah um can you see the uh the screen I'm sharing my screen with the uh we're practicing the conversation response practice from lesson four ah okay Awesome. We can see so it. I will add, uh, let me add Bill to the, let me put a new chat in with the pairs. Uh, let's see.
Okay. Mm -hmm. Can't type. Okay. Let's see. Where where were we at? I think we were at uh Nelson and Ramon. If Nelson, I don't know if you're able to. Yeah, um, I'll respond. If that's okay, because I'm driving to the house. I'm almost home. Oh, okay. Ramon? On the own day, aim Sam. Oh, no. On the own day, aim Oh, 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 on the own day, aim I'm good. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sean, they are good. Oh, yeah. I'm Honda. Ah. Oh, yeah. Go it on. Oh, hey, go young. Hi, get on. Oh, young. Hi, get on. So, Honda are all more. On your high guard, driving home. Yeah, let's see. It's a yeah, how I. Oh, I'm pushing him down. Oh, I'm pushing him down. Ah, hmm. Ah, I don't hear ma. <laughs> they get tag. Oh, they get tag. So I'm done. Yeah. He got him out on top. Oh, he got him out on top. Oh, they good. They thought I got tag him. Hold to you. Oh, they good. They thought. Oh, awesome. That oh, was pretty good for driving. <laughs> Sound like a real <laughs> conversation. <laughs> awesome. I'm going to end All up right. in the ditch. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, don't say that. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so, Ekima and George, if you're able to. George had to step away for a minute. Uh, we just pulled into the house. Okay. And, uh, he's going in, and so um, we can we can do the. Are you are y'all just practicing this this particular conversation? Um, for this lesson, and then we were going to go to lesson next time, five. If that's yeah. okay. Yeah, that's fine. We can. Uh, we can. I'm going to pull up. Okay, we can five, do. So we... Like he should. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Well, just let me know in the chat. We can uh, we can go back. Okay. So. All right. Uh, no worries. Um, let me. Oh, that's the. Let me pull up lesson five because this is the next lesson, and this is all about direction words. So basically, uh, where are you going? you know, telling, telling you where to sit. Um, so we got several options here um, around direction. So let's practice our pronunciation for uh, all of these options. This is a pretty important one. I know that these are words that we use probably a lot in our daily life. Um, so uh, good to know these ones, and for some some of us, it's uh, probably a refresher from words that you've already you've already heard this. Um, okay, so lesson five. Um, can you see all see my screen? Uh, okay. All right. So we have uh, first the number of the week for lesson five. We have ma saw. 
And then phrase of the week, aim oi doing. So ma so. What number is that? Ha um ha o oh, they. Eight. Six. Four. Five. Six. Eight. <laughs> ha, it's a uh, on. Let's see. On ta ma sa pan se ya se ga se ga ki. Ha, six. Six. Um, and does anyone remember our this help phrase? What does it translate to? When you want it said again. Oh. Say it again more, uh, more commandish. <laughs> ha. And then a oi thelo is less commandish. Oh, awesome. That's a good way, good, good word that we probably want to use a lot with our uh, mentors. Um, okay, so now we have our question statements and responses. So this first statement you have, well, both of these, you have lots of responses here. Um, and this is more open-ended. So this is where you, where are you going? And then you have all these options for saying where you're going. So we look at the translation. So um, shopping. Um, uh, so shopping, work, eating, and then good. On um, school. Um, and then here's all your direct translations. And then we have the uh, the next set of phrases is whether or not you're going shopping. So you're asking someone, are you going shopping? And they can answer yes, they are, or they can you can answer no, and then you can say where you're actually going. Um, and then you could also answer with a negative, saying that you're not going shopping. Um, and then finally, the last couple of phrases, you have um, the direction of when someone tells you where to sit. So, ain't so basal. And then ta, so, um, like if you're saying towards towards here, and then we have a couple conversations. And we'll see if we can, uh, maybe we can try this one again, because these conversation response practices is kind of how our conversations will be when we get credentialed and we go before the credentialing board uh, when they do that in-person or virtual credentialing thing. So, um, so this is good, a good practice uh, to practice for that credentialing. Okay, so let's go practice our pronunciation. Um, let's see, I'm gonna ask uh, to see if our, either of our mentors are able to pronounce these for us. Uh, Grandma Martinelle, are you in a place where you can speak or just wanna listen in for now? Oh, and she might not be able to speak because I think the storm's hitting that area. Um, Miss Marion, are you able to pronounce? Which one? Hi, uh, hiya, I'm hiya, I'm Oh, and then the list over here uh, and the responses. <clears throat> Okay, hi, I'm Batna. And the first one is Agonto Manna. Asate Manna. Agu Batna. And Abi Manna. Oh. First one, you're going shopping. You're going to work, going to school, 
Then you're going to eat. I think that's what I've been on. Oh, I hope. Awesome. Um, okay, so let's practice um, the question and the responses. So, Haya in Haya in Banma. A gon a gon a banma. A sate banma. A good banma. A bean banma. Uh, let me go over to Kathy. Kathy, you're muted. Oh, dang, I was already done. No, I just... <laughs> Hiya, aim bama. Agu, da bama. Asat de dum. Asat de bama. Agu, bama. A bean bama. St. Louis gu, a bama. Paul, um, let's see, Lori. I am Banma. I'm going to Banma. I saw the Banma. A good Banma. A pink Banma. Charles that good a Banma. Paul, oh. who? Uh. Nelson, are you able to? Oh. Haya in Banma. A Kanta Banma. A Sate Banma. A Kut Banma. A Pin Banma. Oh. Oh. Cody? Haya in Banma. A Ganta Banma. A Sate Banma. A Goot Banma. A Bean Banma. Oh. Ramon? Haya in Banma. A Ganta Banma. A Sate Banma. A Goot Banma. A bean ban ma. Zoltan gu a ban ma. Or is it gu? Just regular G? Oh. Okay. Zoltan gu a ban ma. Oh. Oh, that's a good question. Hey, Thaw. Maybe it's the it's the hard G. Gu. Gu. Oh. G K. Yeah. I'm missing a strike through there. I'll have to fix that. Okay. Oh, oh. Um, Akima and George, if you're able to. I can. He's still not. <laughs> okay. Um, we're our little boy's in the. Uh, he's asleep, and oh, and so he's in the back. Um. Uh, of the Yukon and he's asleep and I said I don't want to wake him up I want him to sleep so I'm staying in the car with him while we're in class <laughs> we're awesome. so okay uh, so just... hiya 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 a ma a ma Indian City, Guabanma. Oh, aho. All right, awesome. Uh, let's go to our next set of phrases. This, I think this is one of those ones that, um, where it switches the uh, subjects. Um, and I know uh, some of our mentors were getting a crack, they're cracking up last time because the responses, you know, are kind of either yes or no, or so we'll just practice pronouncing all of them so we can know how to say them. 
Uh, let's see, uh, Miss Marion, are you able to help us out with uh, pronouncing uh, this second row and then these phrases here? Okie dokie, see how we do it. <clears throat> Okay, it's went dark. I'm gone to man ma. Ha. I gone to man ha. Ha nay. I saw the man ha. Ha nay. I good man ma. Ha nay. I be man ma. Ha nay. Okay, honey. This is my goo. Okay, honey. Ten grammar. Oh. Honey. I go to banana. If you're not going shopping. Oh. Okay, hon. I go to banana. You're just saying, I'm not going shopping. Oh, nay. Oh. Okay. Hon. Okay. It's hon. I go to man. Hon. I go to man. Which means, oh. I'm not going shopping. Yeah. Okay. Uh -oh. Awesome. But this. So this this last phrase here is the negative, right? It's using all the negative the negative form. Han and then Hana. adding the mock. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Awesome. All right. So let's practice this. Uh, we'll go in the same order. Um. Okay. Um, cool. Han Han Gan Ta Ban Ma. Oh, a gone the bon ma. Honey, a soft day bon ma. Honey, a good bon ma. Honey, a pink bon ma. Honey, honey, and a dark go goo a bon ma. Hana. Han a ganta ban ma or heta. Han a ganta ban ba ma ba ba ma. Let me try it again. Han han a ganta ba ma. <laughs> okay, I gotta repeat that a few times, but I'll uh, pass it over to Kathy. Right, see. Oh, oh. I am a a a a a Hane St. Louis Ut Abama. Hanaga Dabama. Oh, aho. Lori? I am Goy Dabama. A Goy Dabama. Hane a sa de Bama. Hane a good Bama. Hane Abin Banma. Hane Roswell Abama. Ha Agon Dabama. Ha. Oh. Uh, Nelson, if you're able to. I am Ganta Banma. Ha. A Ganta Banma. Hane a sate ban ma. Hane a kut ban ma. Hane a pin ban ma. 
Honey. Wichita Mountains, Gua Bon. Han. Akanta Ba Ma. Akanta Ba Ma. And kind of tricky. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, who? Uh, Cody? Ha aim gone to wait. Ha aim gone to bon ma. Ha a gone to bon ma. Ha nay a saw de bon ma. Ha nay a good bon ma. Ha nay a bean bon ma. Ha nay Norman go a bon ma. Ha a gone to bon ma. Oh, aho. Uh, Ramon? <clears throat> I'm going to ban ma. Ha, a going to ban ma. Ha, ne, a sorte ban ma. Ha, ne, a good ban ma. Ha, ne, a pin ban ma. Ha, ne, so I go a ban ma. Ha, na going to ban ma. Oh, aho. Uh, Ekuma, if you're able to. I'm going to ban ma. Ha, a going to ban ma. Ha, ne, a saw te ban ma. Ha, ne, a good ban ma. Ha, ne, a beam ban Hi. Square top gua ban ma. Hana gondo ba ma. Oh, ahu. Uh, let's see. And George isn't there, right? Just let us oh, know. He's not here. He's okay. not, not out. <laughs> He's probably right. not going to come out. <laughs> okay. Probably eating in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Awesome. Well, we made it through. Uh, let me stop and see if uh, uh, Grandma Martha Nell or uh, Miss Marion, do you have any feedback for us on these first couple rows of phrases? I just think that uh last one like hana gone the bun yeah, is a little just a little more practice on that which is, would be in the second box the, the last where you say no i'm not going shopping that particular word hana uh, gone the bun that uh, is takes a little practice but the rest is okay Aho. Uh -oh. Yeah, that's a kind of a tongue twister, I guess, because uh, for me, I'm not used to saying the negative form of things. So that just uh, it's a little bit different. So. We'll have to say that a few times. <laughs> All right. Oh. Um. All right. Well, let's go over. Let's do this last. This this last couple boxes here. So let's do the um this first one, and then we'll do the like kind of go one, two, three, and say those uh, last few phrases together. So uh. Miss Marion, would you be able to pronounce these last couple for us? Ain't so they saw. Sit down. Talk so. Hall. They. Guy. Now, what is that last word supposed to be? English. Uh, get, uh, get, like, it's Hall. all good. Oh, day. 
Oh, he said D-E. Hog attack, yeah. There's a D-E. I just I think didn't it's understand say, what that uh, was supposed to be for. All, everything, it's good. I think it says everything, it's good. Oh, okay. Hog attack, yeah. Hog attack, yeah. That means everything is good. Yeah. Okay, I'll see it. Ah, uh, who? But, okay. They saw and then the tall so it's like the, and then tall they get I guess. Okay, I got it. Oh, uh who? Hande and the uh Miss Marion. Um this this last uh this phrase here, the ta so ta so um mm -hmm. is that like how would we when would we use that in it? Yeah. I, I, the elders that I know, like when you're going to shake hands, and instead of them saying, they'll just say talk. So it means like put your hand forward. Mm. If somebody, if they're going to shake hands with somebody, uh -huh. then, or they'll say mom, or they say mom, and then they say talk. So, which that means. Put your hand out because they want to shake your hand. It's like oh. if someone is, you know, looking the other way or, you know, not really paying attention. Somebody comes up and they suddenly see someone they haven't seen in a while. Or it's just like a greedy talk, so, which means, you know, put, put your hand forward and you shake your hand, you know. That's kind of a long description. To, or taught, so also could mean like, you know, you're you're passing food or something mm -hmm. around the table. Wanna and someone will instead of saying hand it to me, they'll be looking at an item and say taught, so which means like, you know, give it to me. Oh, okay. That so, makes sense. Miss Marion, if Say, for instance, Melody's teaching school and she wanted the kids to put the papers in a certain place. Could she say that then to direct them towards this place? That's exactly what she they say, you know, toward this, way. toward this way is just to also. Yeah, yeah this way, like that also means like, you know, if you're following somebody and you say, you know, to also like is another way too, which means like, you know, it's just a short way of saying it. Oh. Like follow me or do or and it just means come forward. Like that talk. So and so that word can be used in many different ways. Oh. Oh, oh, something forward. Huh. Mm -hmm. uh, Nelson, Hyundai. Hyundai. Could you use that? Like if you're at the table, you'd say, uh, Ta so toy, uh uh. Ta so. Yeah, we're, so, like, uh, we're, uh, like, what, 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 you know, you say, pass the salt or something. Ta, ta so, on ta, I, yon, uh. Yeah. Um, I know that in one of our um, activities or one of the lessons that we were doing um, earlier in the in the during the KLCRP, we did a lot of practice sessions with those, and we were doing like table setting practice sessions and things, and or table etiquette or table phrases, and um, we were practicing that. And one of the things that stuck with me was past the sugar oh. and that was bena tatsu on so yeah so I, I just think that stuck with me and so that's I always remembered tatsu you know and I'm glad that uh, Miss Marion brought that up because yeah. I felt like I was only using I wasn't using that phrase enough because I was always afraid that it was just for men when they shake hands mm -hmm. 
but she made perfect sense in yeah. explaining that it's it's just a, a phrase that we can use for you know what we the other things <laughs> huh. so so huh. like if you say come even if you say like come this way talks away means like you know come forward to oh. that's what so that can be used in so many different ways that's awesome. I love that. That is. Awesome. That, now we can use it. Because <laughs> I remember, yeah. oh, that's a phrase I never get to use, you know, because it's right? just for men. Shaking I hands. was afraid of that too. <laughs> I was like, because that's all I've, I've ever like heard is, you know, when men shake hands, like, oh man, that's why I wanted to ask to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, um, but the women, the women use that word too, because even like my or, and maybe wolf or maybe pseudo wolf. She always liked to shake hands. She always say talk. So you know, she, or she'd say want talk. So and even okay. It's just, so it's oh. not just for and for anybody. Oh, awesome! Right. And then church people see somebody. So. It's just something they greet each other like they've never seen each other in two years, even though you've just seen them about two days ago. They're always happy to see each other. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. And that sounds like a really useful phrase, especially like, you know, when we have kids and we're trying to give them directions on things. So <laughs> that's really helpful. Oh, okay. Ready to practice? We have a few minutes left. I think we can get through these last few. Um, okay. Uh, cool. Ain't so be so. Ha so. Ha they get ag. Ain't so be so. Ta so. Oh, they get tired. Oh, they get tired. Ain't so be so. Ta so. Ah, they get tired. Ain't so be so. Ta so. Ah, they get tired. Ain't so, be so, taught so, ha, they get aga. Ain't so, be so, taught so, ha, they get aga. Ain't so, be so, taught so, ha, they get aga. Oh, Omaha. <laughs> we did it. Got some useful uh, phrases there that we could use. Um, let's see. Anyone have any questions? And for our mentors, uh, any additional feedback for us? I know we have to, some of us have to work on this phrase here. But anything else? No, that's good. That was good. The <laughs> pronunciations are becoming a little better for the, for the students. Uh -ho. Keep it up. They get ag. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Man, boy, boy, can <laughs> <laughs> they... We're getting there. Um, let's see here. Um, okay, well, there's no other questions we can wrap up. Um, let me stop sharing. Uh, Ramon, Hande Imzaito. Um, 
after uh one day <clears throat> after we're uh done um i wanted to ask you about that uh children's lullaby that you brought up a couple of weeks ago okay uh so he thought <laughs> uh, oh. okay uh let's see um nelson they thought sorry Oh, oh, thank you, Doki. Dom Oyam, Doki. Oh, hey, thong you. Please, class, Father, watch over uh, our elders this evening. Lord, keep them safe and their families as the storm passes through, Father. Give them a good evening to, this evening and tonight, Father. Let, let them uh, have a good night's rest and wake up. No pain in their body, Father. And we thank you for the elders that we have here tonight on with us to help us along through our class tonight father just bless them and uh, their families too and bless each and every one of us that are here and uh, we thank you for your uh, love grace and your mercy and and uh, we thank you for all that you have done and all that you're going to do we uh we uh, continue to give you all the praise and the glory and uh, help us with our goitonga we can uh, continue on uh like uh, bobby said yesterday without it we're uh we're, we're nothing, our people. So we thank you, Lord, that we have our elders here today that can continue to uh, help us with our koitonga. They're our link to our past, Father. You bless them. We thank you and give you all the praise and glory in Jesus' name. Aho atonga, ae kompedo, obaha na yantong zama, kotem do na taraki, obaha. Aho. Awesome. Well, good work, everyone. Uh, keep practicing, and um, maybe next week we'll. Uh, I think next week we want to try to have a um, immersion session with these first, uh, at least the first four lessons, um, to be able to use those phrases in kind of more open-ended conversations. So that's something to. Uh, um, be uh thinking about um so maybe uh if anyone has ideas or suggestions on how we can run the immersion session like what would be the best i think last time we we basically did um our introductions of each other of ourselves and then we just kind of picked a conversation to use it was very scripted um, but I think with these first four lessons, these are uh, much more like open-ended. So we could, you know, pick, we could just kind of be more conversational with each other. Um, so if anyone has ideas or suggestions, uh, bring them next, uh, next week and we'll spend, so next session next week will be um, the two hours. So we'll extend it by 30 minutes. And our goal is at some point in those two hours, we wanna to try to have 30 minutes where we only stay in Kiowa, where we talk Kiowa. So um, that's our goal. So practice uh, the first four lessons. Um, I mean, I guess if we wanna throw in a uh, lesson five, the one we just went over, if you feel confident, we could. Um, up to y'all, but uh, practice your help phrases too. And then, um, We'll uh, hopefully weather will cooperate with us next week. So with that, aho de bat ha and hega hega ba oi bong ta hega ba oi tong ta ta. Oh, I get it. Hega emoji be safe. You too, guys. Agya bato yi. Oh. Let's see. Um, Ramon? Oh. <laughs> um, do you want me to stop the recording? I just have uh, some questions about the lullaby. It'll matter if you want to include it, if you can, if you want. Okay, so um, I'm, I was kind of curious, um, 
I was trying to find, do you have a recording of uh, Maddie Hangtaw singing? Um, which song is that? It's the, uh, let's see. So, so basically the reason why I'm asking is I want, I was kind of curious uh, because I'm um, working on trying to basically uh, make a inventory of all of our um, Eot Com Dogya and San Dogya. Oh. And like put everything together and then try to um, see which ones, because I know there's lots of different versions of some of them. Right. And um, trying to you know, compile them and put them in, in a one place. So like if a if a parent, you know, has has a little one they want to work with or even like a teacher or grandparent or something, they could ideally go to this and like kind of pick which version they want to work on and learn and then be able to sing it. Um, right. So that's what I'm working on. <laughs> but um, I was kind of curious because I think the version that you said, I think you said it was Maddie Haintaw that sang it. Um, well, the one that I actually learned um, was from Henrietta Tonkime. Okay. So and that, I think it has different because uh, we heard the same, this a similar one in, um, but it has different words in the um, Kiowa Culture Program tapes. Oh, okay. And that, that's why I was kind of curious uh, to see if maybe you had um, a different recording or something. Um, let's see, I'm trying to find my notes uh, so I can, because I was curious about the different wording and the different translations. Uh, and it was the one about the uh, uh, little... I don't know if it's like a uh, frog or uh, yeah, frog lady and her baby. <clears throat> yeah, like kind of hopping down the riverbank or on the sand, yeah. the footprints in the sand one. Oh. Um. So let's see. I'm going. I have like a big old document with a bunch of notes. <laughs> uh, let's see. That's. So there was this. a version by Isabel oh. Two Hatchet. It's in the Kiowa Culture Program tape uh, number. Oh gosh, uh, is it thirty-three? Let's see where I have them stored. It's one of the ones with all of the lullabies. Okay. Um, and. <clears throat> And the wording was a little bit because uh, we were talking about the I I I ya dombe aim hal ya gu aba no yeah yeah the apa uh, yeah yeah and I, I remember uh, I think when when you asked when you first asked the question Grandma Martha mentioned something about like a cottonwood tree versus a shade arbor right. And um, so I was just kind of curious about like the different versions, you know, and kind of hearing where the different, where the words are. Uh, right. Different. I have this file <clears throat> that's, um, it's labeled Maddie Hain Talk, I will, uh, Lullabies and Children's Songs. And but it's all in like phonetic. Now I don't know who's phonetic. So some of it, you know, I'm I'm trying to see if I can catch any of those words from that song in this. Mm -hmm. But I think in this file, I'm not sure if the if this particular song is in there, the um <clears throat> the boy frog song. Oh, okay. Well, let me share my screen. I have um, uh, some notes here. And this is from Isabel Two Hatchet's version. So I know the words are a little different from the one that you have. Okay. Um, but it sounds like it's like a very similar 
um, tune. I, I haven't written, this is just me transcribing it phonetically, but I haven't put it in the modified McKenzie yet. Um, uh, but it's the the gahan de ha be ga im hal ya gun a ba thong. And then start talking about the I, I, yeah. She uses I, I, yeah. Dong be. Im hal ya gun a ba thong. Um, do you have a word for word transcription yet? Um. Or Oh, actually, I, I think I took a picture of it. Hopefully, okay, because I was about to say the thing I wrote in it is at the office, but let me see. Oh, if I okay. Take a picture. <laughs> I think I took a picture of it. Hey, um, um, actually, what? Because, you know, what's really hard about these, like, uh, translating them is what's challenging is for me, I'll, I'll go in the glossary. Right. And because because if I were to just show this to, like, say, Grandma Dorothy um, or Grandma D, they would be like, because they don't, you know, they hear Kiowa, they don't, they always say they don't read it. So it's like, right. I'm just doing this, like, in writing, just because, I don't know, that's english brain but um so so then for for grandma dorothy when we were looking at this and we listened to the recording she explained like the like kind of i guess the general her general understanding of what it's saying but when i try to go in more specifically and do a word by word literal breakdown um she she gets I she tends to get a little more frustrated with it just because it's hard for them to hear the exact sounds. Right. And they, you know, they want to make sure it's correct for us. So anyway, I've been trying to find different, you know, the different phrases and words in the glossary, for instance. But some of these are old Kiowa words that are not in the glossary yet. Right. So <laughs> that's that's a challenge. So I don't know if you have any like tricks that you've come across um, that would be some uh, another way to look at it. Well, uh, whenever I was mainly looking at this song, um, I had the uh, Kiowa Bedtime Stories from SIL um, by uh, Mr. Toyobo. Mm -hmm. And then with that, uh, Raymond gave us um, a copy of a, basically a vinyl record um, that was for the child care program. And it had um, his mom on there and she was singing. And I do have it downloaded on my computer here. Um, <clears throat> oh, wow. Let's see. So that whenever... Whenever I was, whenever I was looking at the story, it was a bit different. Like, because they all they write it out is they just write it out without having it mentioned that this part is a song, you know, uh -huh. or these are the yeah. lyrics, and then go yeah. back into the storytelling. Um, but so that that was a little bit difficult, and then. So I tried to listen to the song and then catch where they started singing at. Um, but the way she sings it is a bit different from what the story says or or what uh, I guess was sung for that recording. And I've been uh, I've been trying to contact them for a while um, asking for that recording to the because there's recordings to the type of Christian songs from them and I'm hoping that there's a audio file for the Kiowa bedtime stories because that would help tremendously oh, that would that'd be uh, awesome so but whenever like I said whenever I was uh listening to it then I was just writing it down 
and matching it up a little bit with some of the um, <clears throat> similar words that were in uh, the story. Mm -hmm. um, and then, but I guess I've seen on different translations where it's that, like, where you have that I, Y, um, uh, just under, yeah, go down a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, where it says um, I, Y, dash P, I, Y, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. on, <clears throat> on a different form, I think one that Dane has, um, I think he has it as like I, Pug, yeah. I punk, yeah. So, and plus, like, I was just writing it down how I heard it. So, right. and it could have been <laughs> very true that rather than it being ah, punk, yeah, it was I punk, yeah, which sounds very similar, but. Right. But it uh, means different things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that's the tricky part is uh, I'm not even sure if I'm hearing the accurate sound, which I totally understand how where some of our mentors are coming from too, because you know they're hearing, they think they hear it, and then they're like, "Wait, but that doesn't make sense with you know what the rest of the context is." Yeah. Um, so that's the challenging part. So I was just curious, like, of you know, if you had any additional sources to get like other um, other versions, I think. I think Dane had said there's another lullabies recording. I think it's number 33 where they have like a shorter version of this one, but it's, um, it's different wording. It's like the same tune, but different wording, you know? So it's like not really the same song because <laughs> yeah. they, they change it up. Um, but like this, I, I get is, uh, isn't that cottonwood that yeah that's what it's it says it translates to and i get i guess mo, mo, sorry i guess i'm just having a hard time finding something to back it up i guess you could say yeah yeah um, same because <laughs> it's not really like in the glossary per se in that way yeah um, and <clears throat> I try to use John Harrington's book since it does have a lot of old Kiowa in it. Yeah. Um, but even with that, especially that word, I'm trying I'm having a little bit of a hard time. I wonder, um, let me see. Grandma Martha sent um something. Sometimes she'll send like when she's looking for things, she'll send different things. Uh Okay, so for her, that she it's the ahoy, yeah, ahoy for cottonwood, but and then isn't there one about the brush arbor somewhere in here? Or no, that's a different song, I think. But what I was trying to find was like, where's the word that translates to sand? <laughs> yeah it's the See? sand and uh, it's like you know because all the the different mentors like they they have a they're like yeah it's on the riverbank and there's sand and there's a footprint and it's just I guess it's just hard for me to try to fit where those words are and maybe it's not exact like maybe it's just understood but right. um yeah that's <laughs> that's tricky well, also too I feel like um though by the way this song was going and like the way it says you know apagia domba like underneath you're saying either cottonwood or whatever is being said underneath mm -hmm. he's coming along um so, but so you get the sense of like there's some type of shade some type of whether it's like like how grandma dorothy ex describes it she's like she can describe an image where she's like, it's yeah. a riverbank with trees, like uh, lots of trees that are overhead, but um, it doesn't necessarily, uh, I guess like for me, the liter literal translation versus the uh, kind of the understood translation, that's where I'm struggling. Right. Ha, <laughs> aho. 
Yes, uh, uh, thank you, Akima. Um, well, see, that's that. I think of I think of uh, those who have you know young young little ones, and I'm like, uh, we have some awesome songs, and that are more than just like you know the couple songs that we've kind of all heard growing up, but um, and some of the, our songs are like really like very comp complex and like really awesome like beautiful songs but we don't sing them anymore and so one of my goals is to try to put you know get it out there so that people can be able to sing them and you know bring them back oh i was um, <clears throat> i was thinking like it'd be neat for because i mean once once we do get this down and then we have these available and getting the tune i mm -hmm. think it'll be i mean it probably won't happen within our lifetime per se but like seeing either new songs come about or that kind of this rehappening where there's different versions oh or like yeah. if, a, if a new story was to come out if someone wanted to create a song and then you know it becomes a popular story and then like 50 something odd years down the line then someone else has a different version of the story with oh. you know, different song. Exactly. Well, it's part of like our, uh, our, our, it's part of our culture and our, the way that we, the way we pass knowledge down, right? It's like, if we can just capture this as like, this is something that families used historically and it's okay to use it and do this way, you know, going forward that we have to to me it's like about normalizing it you know like uh like this is how it was done and so it doesn't have this this doesn't mean we have to only sing these songs like we can take what they did at that time and as you know babies grow up and have different experiences then we can you know learn to kind of compose our own songs like for our grandkids like that's what i'm kind of hoping for you know to be able to get to the point where I can uh, be able to come up with songs for, you know, for my own grandkids at some point oh. um, and to be able to pass it on. Cause I feel like a lot of times, like, at least for me, like growing up, I didn't realize that we have so many children's songs and Yacht Calm Dog yet. And I didn't understand the difference between those two, so the two types, like our genres of songs until the past couple of years just really like intensely trying to get into it and figure it out um right i mean like the way grandma dorothy described it is that yacht calm dog yeah were songs that you know we they were survival songs you had to keep the babies calm and quiet because it was the difference between life and death because you know we're out there and there might be enemies around and yeah. Or, you know, there's something happening and you got to keep the baby quiet. So you sing those yeah, calm dog. Yeah. And then the sun dog yeah, are more of the fun and also teaching and songs that have lessons like like the black horn spoon songs. Um, yeah. And those. so it's just like so fascinating. Like it's like, wow, there's all these different, you know, uh, stories that go with the songs each song has like a certain purpose um and I, it's just like so fascinating so i'm like I, I need to hurry up and you know get it out there so people can you know sing these to their kids <laughs> i know it <laughs> um but uh that's that's one thing uh let's see this is oh is this this might be a song that you might have on that um on Henrietta's um, yeah so grandma Dorothy was trying to come up with uh what was it she said something about a bird sitting on a tree limb and got knocked off <laughs> 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 and his stomach popped out <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like wow so I don't know maybe that's on that recording um that you have uh <laughs> it's to me it sounded kind of like Humpty Dumpty <laughs> <laughs> but she was just remembering it um and there's this other song and while I have you on here I don't know if you've heard this song but uh uh 
Louis Toibo sings it a couple times in a couple of these. Um, uh, I think it's in number 33 of the KCP tapes. Okay. And it's a song that's sung for a little boy. Um, let me see if I can find it. Uh, but it's like really pretty. Um, I think this is it. Okay, this is where he's talking about it. So yeah, he sings it, and here's the timestamp. Um, but Grandma D, a couple of years ago, she remembered it, right. and that. But she she was really frustrated because she could only remember like some of the words. And then um, I asked Dane if he knew if we had if there was a recording somewhere, and so he said that you know he pointed me to that that recording. So uh, it's like at the very last part of that tape. Uh, oh, okay he actually talks about like, I want to translate this right here because he talks about, you know, how it's a song for boys. And he talks about how it's the grandfather that usually sang this song to the boys. Mm, okay. And, um, but grandma D said that her mother would sing it as well to the, oh. to a little boy. Um, but I guess historically, it's uh it was something that a grandfather would first sing um but it's really cute because i guess you started off with uh saying the baby boy's name their kiowa name right and then and then you sing to them and it's uh let's see let me scroll down to the song the um aga hayato da oikisa dam behel na sane ki gait a behel but aha, ba eight, ba eight, a te hail na, he ga ba ho ga om ga, a de so de na, a ta ta, old be da ha, old be da ha, ga eight ka bean yak e ya na, a ta ta, el ga magya ma ye sa pi te hail. Um, and oh. it's like, so apparently the translation, which I was working with Grandma D on, it's, here, let me switch over to this other screen. Um, it, I'll uh, put the, uh, Akima, I'll put the, it's Kiowa Culture Program number 33, and it's on the Google Drive, and it's, uh, there's the timestamp for, it's like at the end of the recording uh, where he sings it. Uh, let me stop sharing this really quick and go over here. Um, so I asked um, I asked Grandma Dorothy how she, what she would call that song. And she was like, it sounds like, because the way Grandma D described how her mother sang it, it's from the perspective of two sisters. Um, so basically the little boy's sisters, his older sisters that sing oh. this song. And so the song's about them singing for him. And so here's what we came up with. Uh, so you put the baby's boy's name in it and you say, so he went to war and it's all, you know, it's all in hearsay tense. So they said the enemy oh. shot at him he was bleeding. They fixed him up. And then we took action. We gathered our shabby belongings and we gave away our things. And then the resourceful women, they did their honor holler after all the things were gone. So it's about um, the old style of giving away, the kabim gyaki. Um, and it's about uh, women honoring their brother. And even though it's a song that's about war and going into battle, it's about this, I guess, this, you know, this little baby boy imagining his future. And okay. he's, a, he's a warrior that, you know, he goes into battle and he gets shot and or gets an arrow or something and he gets injured, but then, you know, he, he gets better. And then to honor him, his sisters took whatever they could because they didn't have too much. They just gathered it and then they gave away for him. And then they looted. Oh. Um, but it's like such a cool song. I'm like, this is like an amazing 
it's like this is like and it's considered a sun dog yeah um and it's something that um there's a few songs like this where basically it's uh for a boy um a little baby boy but where you're like putting the boy in place of like a warrior where he's going out and doing you're imagining him doing like these great deeds yeah uh, and becoming an honorable person basically um so i was like man i wish i knew this song i, I could have sung it to my son when he was little <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm gonna have to listen to it learn it yeah it's it's like uh it's really um and it, it's just like really cool to hear and to know that we have this you know this type of song out there um let me see i'm trying to see if i can if you have time i could pull it up really quick unless you have to go um, uh it's funny i pulled it up on my phone but yeah i i'm down to hear it Oh, you found it? Yeah, well, on my phone, but uh, yeah, you can pull it up on the uh, screen if you want. Okay, cool. Um, let me go to, okay, now where'd the file go? Well, I was going to say, ain't, let's see here. Ain't so, uh, uh, yeah, I'm just sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> um, okay, let me pull it up. Let me stop sharing this and then share my sound. Um, okay. Sound. Let's see, and I think it's you said fourteen twenty five. Yeah, fourteen. I think that's where he starts talking about it. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. <laughs> dog, yeah, dog. Yeah, dog, come. Hali, dog, dog. Damn. Yeah, dog. I'm going to skip ahead to the song part, but this is this is what I want to get translated where he's talking about how to like what it means. Yeah, I'd love to like know what he's saying there. <laughs> um, OK, here's. Satan by no sonic ego it out the hay. Bought a by top the hay now. I go a honk and take charge. At the old bed on her, old bed on her, a cabin gagged. And that's it. It's a pretty, uh, pretty cool, pretty cool song to sing to a little boy. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, that's so I was able to translate the song with Grandma D, but the next part is I want to translate what Mr. Toybo is talking about, like how he describes um the song. Right. So that's like I guess the next thing. Um but uh yeah, so Ramon, if you um if you want to help work on this uh this lullaby or the the one about the frog baby frog or uh hopping on the riverbank right <laughs> um let me know and we could uh 
jump on a Zoom session sometime and um, compare notes on the transcription because oh, that's okay. uh, that's a lot. Yeah. Um, I've been <clears throat> some some of the things like I'll tell Dane like, oh hey, I started working on this. He's like, oh, I got those uh, transcribed already. I'm like. I mean, sometimes I need—I just need to know what you all have, <laughs> so that right? I don't have to do it again. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I know he's like that. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, that's already done. I'm like, oh well. <laughs> and then he's always like, but but it's good because you need to do. I'm like, okay, good, all right, whatever. And it's true. <laughs> it is practice. great practice. So <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, hey, uh, for um. If you're interested, I, I saw that you're teaching at Carnegie now. So congratulations. That's awesome. Oh, we, ju we just got in there. It's for like, it's during their enrichment hour. So it's basically like recruiting for the next semester. Mm. Um, kind of just getting those interested, letting them know that in the future, we in the near future, we will uh, hopefully be offering at least a course there. That's so cool. So yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> I know. So um, I'm I'm really hoping for the high school. Um and but uh I think the principal is mainly on about that uh our own personalized code. So because I don't know if he wants to use like the other world or other native language or whatever the new code is that we have. Oh like the temporary one i think he wants the actual kiowa one. Oh, so it could be a full kiowa class yeah or get credit uh, as a full kiowa class oh and um which is funny like i think he's he's really waiting for it to be a graduation credit which mm. i i understand I thought... but also at i at the same time i don't because there's a class there called outdoor living and it's an elective it's not a graduation credit i've never heard of carnegie ever having a class called outdoor living so wow <laughs> like you could at least just have like have it as an elective at least if you're you know that concerned but you know we do have the code or we well are getting the code so i guess it don't matter <laughs> well maybe if you just show them that letter that the tribe got from or that email from the world languages department with Oklahoma. Oh. Um, <laughs> maybe that'll like be enough to say, oh yeah, we because I, I know that some of the sub school dis districts are pretty um they want to be able to have it count towards that foreign language requirement. Yeah. Um, which I I get, but at the same time it's like, well, why not just have it as an elective to get started, you know, to get yeah. it on the schedule and everything but yeah it's uh it's interesting um weatherford public weatherford high school actually requested um a class to see if uh we could do something to teach something so i told oh. them like i'm uh you know i'm willing to be the teacher of record but because we're up here in CNA country, like I'd want it to be like a kind of like a Native American languages, like a survey course where like every nine weeks we switch in, to another language because, you know, there's there'd be Cheyenne, Arapaho and Kiowa being taught. Mm -hmm. um, because uh, I mean, I was like, well, unless, you know, Weatherford just wants to teach, you know, have us have a Kiowa class only, you know, <laughs> some CNAs might get kind of frustrated, but <laughs> that's. I, you know, language is a language. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was really excited to see that. Um, I saw that on uh, social media. I was like, that's so cool. They're they're finally moving. Uh, you know, Carnegie is moving in the direction. I know um, Hope had said a couple of years ago, that's like one of her goals. So that's so cool. Yeah. So <laughs> I know um, <clears throat> I'm really hopeful for it, you know, because like, I mean, we did have many Indian club growing up, but yeah, that's about like the only, you know, school exposure, I guess you could say, mm -hmm. that we had. Um, but I think, 
it's funny the we at, we at least wanted to get some seniors in there even though like it you know they're not going to be able to take it um, right and but like some of uh they're they've been doing a lot of stuff so that's why it's kind of sporadic us showing up there because of testing and mm -hmm. getting ready for graduation and whatnot yeah um so <clears throat> but yeah there was even uh i guess they were having a birthday party and uh they required the seniors to be there i guess and it's funny, I told some of them, just go go say happy birthday and come back. <laughs> Learn your language. <laughs> right? Sing the happy birthday song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's cool. Well, I was I was wondering, so so I have I got this uh fellowship and so I was able to purchase this uh website domain, learnkiowa.org. Right. And so um one of the ideas, and this I'm just showing you like the this is what you'll find if you go to learnkiowa.org right now because it's oh, under okay. construction. But um, one of the goals is to have um, a section on the website. So basically, you know, all the the YouTube channel that all of our sessions go to, it yeah. automatically populates to on learnkiowa.org, and it um, so we have a section uh, a page for all our sessions, and then there's going to be a page for each age group. And then you could click on an age group of like a Kiowa child that you're working with, whether right. you're teaching them or a parent. And then uh, under each age group, there'll be uh, a list of lessons, lesson plans. And um, so, and the lesson plans will have uh, recordings, videos, handouts, just, you know, everything that a parent or a teacher or grandparent would need to be able to talk to use the language, but also to do things like sing songs with their child. Um, wow. But one of the ideas is I noticed that there's a lot of a lot of us like younger Kiowas that are doing some awesome things and like putting together, you know, different resources and things, but not everyone has the same social media and not everyone has like the same access online. And so right. I wanted to open a, have a page for contributors. So basically be able to host, um, give everyone who wants their own website, a, a page where they would have their own, if you learn kiowa.org slash, you know, whatever people would want to call their own page, but basically where they could upload their own YouTube channel or, uh, you know, Facebook links or videos. Like I think of like Anthony, how he does his word of the day and it's right. on Facebook. And I'm like, those would be cool for more people to hear, but not everyone has Facebook. And, right. and also Robert Garza does a lot of really cool, like he puts together different like stories and diagrams and things. And, but again, they're on Facebook and not everyone, you know, can see it. And so what I want to do is go around to different, you know, Kiowa's like, all of all of us that like join these sessions <laughs> and yeah. ask if if people want a page to basically put whatever it'd be like a space where you could put stuff that we can't access that you'd want people to publicly access like for instance if i was teaching a class um i'd want like say you know for a homework assignment i'd say hey go to this website listen to this recording and then you know repeat whatever like you know if i was working with high schoolers um, or if I'm working with younger kids, I'd have them go and listen to a song and then try to, uh, you know, start practicing the song. Um, so just, you know, to serve as like a resource for us. I know that was one of the, um, it was one of the goals of the ANA funding, but um, we didn't, um, you know, we didn't really get to that point. And so right. I've, hoping that this could be useful, you know, at least for the next 10 years <laughs> um, for uh, any Kiowa who wants to contribute. Um, but <laughs> anyway, um, but but I'm asking because I know that you, I saw that you still are teaching Kiowa and I know Akima, you're teaching the Anadarko class. So I am just throwing it out there if, if either of you, any of you would want a page 
Um, my plan is to go live with learnkiowa.org at the end of April. Um, and um, it'd be nice to have, you know, different pages set up for people. That way you could uh, direct students or, you know, post things. Um, basically, I would just, you know, you would just send me whatever you wanted to be posted. Or if you have a YouTube, like I said, we just link it to the page and then people could go to the website instead of a YouTube channel um, and then listen to it that way or learn that way. So anyway, that's that's the idea. So what do y'all think? <laughs> yeah, I think that's good. Especially, yeah, because that I think that'd be easier, um, especially because most of the content that I do and, you know, uh, well, as far as sending out like recordings is mostly just through email. So and sometimes, you know, people accidentally, you know, lock themselves out of their email accounts. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> I think it's it'd be a good thing. Like if oh, learn, learn dot org. OK, and then like you have the credentialed teachers or whoever that are teaching classes. And mm -hmm. like if you missed a session or something, you know, we could just upload it to there mm -hmm. and you can access the the recording from there or even the having the um, accompanying document with it as well mm -hmm. or lesson. So, yeah, that's a good idea. Oh. Awesome. Well, uh, I have like a little, um, I'll email you uh, separately. And Akima, I don't know if you'd be um, interested in having a page set up for your Anadarko class um, or for whatever, you know, you would like to have. It'd be like your page. Um, but I, I have a little uh, paper that has more details that I can email um, each of you. And we can set up some time to kind of go over like what things you'd want, how you want it set up, that type of thing. So awesome. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, that's that's the uh, a challenge is it's just, you know, everyone is doing these amazing things, but it's like not everyone knows about it, <laughs> you know. Um, and a lot of we have a lot of resources like on the Google Drive, but like not everyone gets, you know, can get on that. Um, so right. Um, yeah, that's that's I just hate to see like I don't I don't like things going to waste and I I wanna do something that could be useful to people that um to just give people a way to to make things more accessible, even for their own <laughs> reference. Like, yeah. I just think of like, what would happen if like Facebook lost all of Robert Garza's stuff that he posts on like, what is it, Kiowa Stories or something? I'm like, mm -hmm. what What would happen if that all like disappeared? I'm like, ah, that's like a lot of really cool stuff that, you know, is really unique. Um, so anyway, cool. Well, I'll reach out. Um, I'll reach out uh, with some more information. <laughs> oh, yeah, it, it's well, it's not like I, I don't want to like duplicate anything, but I also see that it, there's not really a place like, like, I don't, you know, the Kiowa tribe could probably link to it, but it's not as easy to upload stuff to the Kiowa tribe website, you know? Um, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so that's kind of this, this is more like, I guess, driven by like the Kiowa teachers and the learners themselves you know as opposed to like the um like a particular grant or yeah. particular you know administration but yeah okay cool well i appreciate you staying on so all right oh take care you too Oh, they good, they thought.